Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Clone Wars, you guys. I am so excited to see the next episode. I've really been enjoying um, the arc so far, um, even the the high creepy factor in it. Uh, if you're joining me early today, you already know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So, um, yes, we have been on this arc about a variety of things. In the last few episodes, it took the turn of zombie bugs. <clears throat> we, we, um, we had an episode where, um, we actually meet, like, the queen and everything, and it's very creepy. They have to go rescue Luminara and everything. That was the episode prior to the one I watched last. At the beginning of the last episode, I was like, wow, guys, really creepy. Was not, was not, like, stoked about, I mean, I enjoyed the episode, but I mean the, the horror factor of, um, you know, the creepiness factor of the bugs and everything, the zombie bugs. I was just like, ugh. Um, but in a good way, in a good way. And then we had last episode. Last episode, they decided to take my precious girl Ahsoka and her, her new Padawan friend, Luminara's Padawan, I'm sorry, do not remember her name, <clears throat> and they decided to put them basically in a horror movie. And the stars of the horror movie are the little infectious worms that crawl through the nose to make you into a zombie. I cannot tell you how much more I was not about that than the episode prior. <laughs> Like, I thought the episode prior was bad. Love the episode. I think it was fantastically done. Um, had such a good horror vibe. There's one scene in particular that just got me so good. I'm like, wow, whoever did this really understands horror. Because um, we have, like, Ahsoka kind of sitting there. I think she's talking to herself or something. And, and she's sitting there at a desk. And, and the camera just kind of pans and... It crosses the path of like this window behind Ahsoka and the zombie Padawan is just there and I'm like, oh my lord, that was, that was good. That was bad, but that was good. Um, so, uh, so really, I'm uh, just, just really, um, creeped out and, but in a good way, like in a way where like, I know this is what they wanted me to feel and I think they did a great job. Um, but it was, it was really good and, uh, you know. Ahsoka had to think her way out of it, um, you know, with the help of some info she gets about the temperature being a factor with these zombies. Um, and we had this great little, because we start off the episode with, like, one of our, our bits of wisdom about attachment. And I thought for sure it was going to be about Anakin because we just saw like his whole thing with his attachment to Ahsoka and the way that he and Lumin uh, Luminara were handling things differently with their Padawans and everything. Um, and it actually ended up being about Ahsoka and she has this great moment with Anakin where she's like, you know, because she kind of had the opportunity to either like try and save them or not get that, you know, just kind of do a, you know, going down with the ship. The, or not going down with the ship so much, but trying to get the the ship away from any people um, because they they want her to to you know bring everyone in and everything and and she's trying to like save them, but she has this great moment with Anakin where she's like, you know, what if I couldn't have saved them? Was I being selfish? Was it my attachment, my personal feelings getting in the way? Um, and I mean, Anakin's response I thought was great and very wise, but we know, like, attachment is, like, the, the number one problem for Anakin. But his response was great that, like, you know, you knew you had a plan, you followed your instincts on it, and it worked, you know? Like, you had the info you needed and you used it. Um, so it's, like, one of those things, and I've said this a lot in the past, but, like, that, that, method makes a degree of sense and and it were always works out for Anakin until like it didn't you know what I mean um un until he just kind of like you know took it too far I guess um but 
it's it's very uh, it's very interesting to see like where this all started, you know. Because I love Anakin on this show. I think he is just like the nicest, coolest guy. And every once in a while you get like, oh yeah, I can see where he's a little. Like last episode, I think, was it last episode where we had him like torturing a dude. And it was pretty intense, not gonna lie. And I'm like, ah, there's the Darth Vader in him. Okay, got it. But most of the time he's just like you're like a like a cool guy. Like just a nice, cool guy that you'd like to hang out with, you know? He's fun, he's witty. Um, I'm a big fan of Anakin on this show. Um, <clears throat> so it's, it's, I'm ranting, but it's interesting to see where that all started. Anywho, I don't know if that was the official wrap up of the, of the arc that we were on or if there's more to it. What do you say we go ahead and get started and find out? Let's go. The Jedi have been unable to stop separatist advances in the outer rim. Okay. Mm. There he is. Oh, is that Grievous? Everyone, everyone get ready. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just like waiting for the creepy laugh. Got it, you gotta give it to Grievous for making an entrance though. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh! Oh, he's still. Oh, oh no, not anymore. Not anymore. No! There's a lot going on right now, there is a lot happening. Oh! Reputation of a coward. And a murderer. Murderer? Is it murder to rid the galaxy of you, Jedi? Uh-huh. It, it is. It absolutely... Oh, and he's got... Oh, he's got some lightsabers. He's got some lightsabers. I wonder if he took those from... Because they're green and blue. I wonder if he took those from someone he killed. Oh, I don't know this Jedi, and that's looking very bad for him. You know what I mean? Like, your character, I don't know. Oh, never mind. Never mind. He's. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, he's sending. Oh, my God. He's sending like a hostage video? Oh, no. That's that. Oh my God! Go, go, go! Get yourself some like some tussin or something. Much there is to end to that monster. On that, agree we are. So the question remains. Yeah, because you can't like reason with him, you know. Oh. Nice. My skill to Salukamai system sector J nineteen. Nice. Zero eight zero five two nine. Nice. But in if Master Cop is still alive, you will find him. Hopefully by the end of this mission. I hate that he's Master Cop and captured General. I'm worried about Master Cop though, because I'm worried. Last time, last time there was a Jedi being tortured, they just went ahead and like offed them. So I'm very scared for him. Your compassionate friends have come to rescue you. Just as I knew they would. Uh-oh. It's a trap. It's a trap, as Admiral Akbar would say. How close are you going to jump in next to Grievous' ship? Pretty close. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Pretty close. Close enough to get the job done. Ah! Uh, you're gonna see just how close in just a second. Knowing Anakin is probably gonna be some crazy, awesome, death defying thing. Shall we fire on the source? Uh, no, Cody. Let them think they have us. We need a diversion oh. for Anakin. 
got it. So they're kind of like playing dead. All right, let's do this. Was that close enough for you? <laughs> Any closer and we'd be flying down hallways. Eh, next time. <laughs> He's like, there's always next time, baby. Oh my God. See what I mean though? Anakin's just so freaking likable. Ah. Oh. I gotta say the action in this one is... I mean, that's the action's always good, but they're like seriously picking up the pace here. Oh, with their like lightning sticks? With their like electric shock sticks? Is everything going as planned? That depends on your point of view, General. All sass, all the time. <clears throat> oh, I would say yes. Yeah, he knew. He knew. He he guessed. Surprise. <laughs> not exactly. Not not a surprise, unfortunately. Unfortunately, not enough of a surprise. But in the final accounting, what does all the talk get you? A futile quest for power, a mutilated body, and your place is Dooku's errand boy. I'm no errand boy. Oh! War for Dooku. The future. The future where there are no Jedi. Oh, he has more arms and more lights. Okay, all right. Well, this is happening. Oh, man. I know I should know this, but why does he hate the Jedi so much again? Actually, don't tell me, cause I'll maybe I'll rewatch the uh, <clears throat> the movies after I'm done with this, since I've forgotten like eighty percent of them. And your friend will die. <sighs> really, really. See, he, Anakin was not about to deal with the little fake heads. He was not about no. Uh oh. <clears throat> Someone stop him. <laughs> they didn't know it, but they actually helped by getting the arm out of the way. Got to get it. Oh, no. <laughs> I almost kind of feel bad for him. Nah, nah. <laughs> the, the little pain sounds. Really? With the. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Surrendered Love the music, too. Ooh. Ah! Oh no, it's Spider Grievous! My least favorite Grievous! Master Galia, you go ahead. I'll get you back to the shuttle. May the Force be with you. Hmm. I'm so glad they got him. <laughs> His noises, though. Even the way he runs is kind of bizarre. Oh, come on. He always gets away. It's infuriating. Oh, no. There's just something about the, the droid laugh that's... <laughs> He's like, skitter away! <laughs> oh! Or not! Nice. Nice, uh... Nice save there. Are they actually gonna capture him? No! There he goes, skittering away. Take two. Nice. Well, we we saved our crew. That's the important thing. But dang it, he just skittered away. Oh no! What the? <laughs> Jeez, he's ruthless. Uh oh. Yay, 
everyone, hop on board, please. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh. At least it slowed him down, though. You'll have to command the space battle while Rex, Cody, and I head to the surface. You sure you can handle this on your own? I think I can manage. Yeah, I think he'll be good. Since you divided your forces, Grievous is still at large. I would have gladly given my life if it meant bringing that monster to justice. Mm. At least we all live to fight another day. True. Very true. I'm so glad he made it out alive. I really was not sure. Okay, I really enjoyed that episode. So we're kind of kip kicking off another arc here, which is exciting. Um, the other arc lasted a while, so I don't know about this one. I don't know how long it's going to last, but clearly we kind of have a, our setup for the next part of it, which is going to be Obi-Wan going after and trying to find Grievous and everything. Um, unless they do like a jump thing. Like I know because of the order, sometimes they jump around and we'll like you know, um, the, the timeline's not, um, linear <laughs> exactly at this point. Um, I think it's after the season that it, they kind of stopped doing that is what I heard. But, um, but I'm assuming that that's going to be like the next part and we're going to have like a multi-part story with like fun character building and little life lessons along the way as we hunt down Grievous. And I gotta say, like, I will say it again, I really like Grievous. I enjoy Grievous a lot. Um, I knew as soon as I saw the title and his, his joy, his like, uh, I don't, he kind of looks like, um, Alpha 5 from Power Rangers a little bit, but he, he's like a different kind of droid. He's like the assistant droid. And there was, there's just something about like the laughing droids that just sets me off. I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's bizarre and it's fun. And, um, the whole scene with that droid, like trying to get his arm and then all the little joys and pains that go along with that um, were pretty fun. A lot of great action in this one. I felt like the action was like very fast paced and we had a lot of just like, oh, yes, he did. It. Oh, no, he's going to. Oh, no. Yes, yes, no. <laughs> um, I was glad that um, Master Cop was okay. Um, like I said, last time we had a Jedi hostage, it did not end very well. It was very ruthless, so I was really scared. Especially since I don't really remember this Jedi at all. He's probably been around, and I just, it went over my head or something. Um, and I was like, oh, no, don't tell me they brought him in just to, like, oh, just as, like, a, a sacrifice to the, to the, um the show gods or whatever. Um, but no, um, he's, he is all right. So, um, I'm looking forward to see more. Um, Obi-Wan is among my, my favorite characters as well. So, um, seeing as how it kind of sounds like we'll have sort of an Obi-Wan centric, uh, story with at least some of these episodes. Um, like I said, they kind of set it up here that he was going to go after him on his own. Um, I think it should be fun to, to see him in action, just like, oh, just like, I will be so overwhelmed with the sass and the snark. And I like how, like, anyone who interacts with Obi-Wan starts to slip into the snark language with him. Like, even Grievous was kind of getting in on the sass, and I'm like, interesting. So it's, it's not just his inherent sass, it's like a contagious sass. Um, so a lot of fun. Um, all right, guys, here we go on another arc of Clone Wars. Um, I will look forward to, um, typically the first parts are really good and they set up everything. And then the parts after that just like blow my mind. So I'm really looking forward to the blow my mind parts. Um, I had a blast with it. I always do with Clone Wars. It's just like, it's, it's one of my happy places, you know? I just know I can kick back and it's just going to be fun and maybe a little silly and maybe very insightful, maybe all the above. Um, so I had a lot of fun with it. I hope you had fun watching along with me. You guys, as always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.